Carter! I was too late once. I won't be again. No! No! So guess what? This time things are going to shake up for John Carter. You know why? Because Disney's taking a whole new approach with their show and movie. Not to toot our own horn, but this forgotten sci-fi gem deserves a much better adaptation. So let's dive in and chat about when John Carter 2 is hitting screens, what juicy stuff Part 2 is going to be about, and hey, could they possibly be gearing up for Part 3? Here's the lowdown on everything we've got so far about the movie. The John Carter saga was sadly cut short, but glimpses of what could have been revealed revealed that it had the potential to be something truly special. Back in 2012, the film adaptation of Edgar Rice Burroughs' novels brought us into the adventurous world of John Carter, a former Civil War soldier who unexpectedly finds himself on the red planet of Barsoom, or Mars. There, he encounters the towering green Martians known as Tharks, who promptly capture him. But things take a turn when he crosses paths with Princess Deja, and together, they embark on a quest to overcome the challenges they face. Despite its promising premise, John Carter failed to make waves at the box office, ultimately putting an end to any hopes of a franchise. Yet the seeds had been sown for an epic series, with John striving to rescue Deja from her enemies, including the menacing Sabthan of Zodanga and the enigmatic Therns, a group of immortal beings. Plus, there was the looming threat of Mat Hai Shang, the shape-shifting Thern leader whose schemes hinted at even greater dangers ahead. With tantalizing hints of what could have unfolded, the cancelled sequels left fans wondering about John Carter's return to Barsoom, especially after being deceived by Mat Hai Shang and with the Therns still at large. The missed opportunity only adds to the intrigue surrounding this sci-fi saga. Under the direction of acclaimed Pixar writer-director Andrew Stanton, the John Carter saga was meant to span a trilogy, delving deeper into the hero's exploits on Barsoom. Stanton even unveiled the plot lines and titles for these sequels, promising to elevate the franchise to new heights. At the center of it all was the potential for a formidable antagonist in the form of Matai Shang, poised to take on the role of the ultimate villain in the series. The proposed sequels were set to be named Gods of Mars for the second installment and Warlord of Mars for the third. With a grander, more ambitious sci-fi narrative in the works, the groundwork laid in the first film was intended to blossom into a saga that sounded truly remarkable. Unlike the initial movie, which struggled to find its footing and primarily served as setup for what was to come, the cancelled sequels promised a rich character arc for John Carter positioning him as a reluctant ruler determined to protect those he cares about. In Gods of Mars, Carter would have faced off against Mat Hai Shang, revealing the false deity's deception to the advanced firstborn civilization, especially after Shang kidnaps Carter's son, ratcheting up the stakes for our hero and his allies. As the story progressed into Warlord of Mars, Carter's doppelganger on Earth would have faced peril at the hands of the Therns, setting the stage for an epic showdown back on Barsoom. Visually, the sequels would have evolved, leveraging modern technology to create stunning visuals that would have enhanced the storytelling, particularly in depicting the underground city of the Firstborn and introducing new Martian species. Despite the underwhelming reception of the initial film, the tantalizing details surrounding the scrapped sequels have left fans yearning for more from this sci-fi adventure. The potential for purposeful storytelling and captivating new environments hinted at a franchise that could have been a standout in Disney's repertoire. Now, let's delve into how Disney is forging ahead into a new era by reportedly considering the revival of fan favorites like Gargoyles and John Carter. According to reports from Giant Freakin' Robot, Disney is eyeing a live-action feature film adaptation of the beloved 1980s animated series Gargoyles, with none other than Kenneth Branagh, director of Murder on the Orient Express, in talks to helm the project. For those unfamiliar, the original series follows a clan of gargoyles from the 10th century, who are transported to modern-day New York City after being cursed to remain stone statues until their castle reaches above the clouds. Upon awakening in the 20th century, they find themselves under the ownership of wealthy businessman David Xanatos, who places their castle atop his New York skyscraper. The gargoyles, led by the noble Goliath, 
then take it upon themselves to protect the city and its inhabitants from various supernatural threats while clashing with Xanatos. As Disney looks to breathe new life into this beloved property for their streaming service, it remains to be seen how they will reimagine the material. However, given the enduring popularity of the original series and the potential for modern storytelling techniques, there's hope that this reboot could resonate with audiences in a way that the previous attempt may not have. Similarly, the revival of John Carter, based on the Barsoom series of novels, offers another opportunity for Disney to captivate audiences with a fresh take on the beloved source material. With the continued popularity of the original novels, there's a wealth of rich storytelling awaiting to be explored, potentially connecting with both existing fans and newcomers. In essence, these revivals signify Disney's commitment to tapping into the nostalgia of beloved franchises while also introducing them to a new generation of viewers. With the right creative vision and execution, these projects have the potential to usher in a new era of storytelling for The House of Mouse. A remake of John Carter could offer a fresh perspective on science fiction storytelling. Despite its initial stumble at the box office, the film has garnered a devoted following over the years with its charm, action sequences, and fidelity to Edgar Rice Burroughs' source material earning praise from fans and critics. Director Andrew Stanton's original version for a trilogy may have been shelved after the first movie's disappointment, but the rich narrative potential of Burroughs' Mars novels remains untapped. In today's landscape, streaming platforms hungry for new content provide an ideal opportunity to reintroduce John Carter to audiences. Advances in CGI technology mean that the fantastical landscapes of Mars can be brought to life with greater realism and at a lower cost than in 2012. Burroughs' extensive literary universe offers a wealth of material for adaptation, potentially spanning multiple seasons or films. While some may argue that the dominance of franchises like Star Wars leaves little room for competing space operas, John Carter's unique 19th century setting offers a refreshing alternative. A savvy adaptation could embrace this steampunk aesthetic, carving out its own niche in the genre and paving the way for future productions. The recent success of Denis Villeneuve's Dune films demonstrates the enduring appeal of literary classics in the sci-fi genre, even in the face of previous adaptations' shortcomings. The failure of the 2012 film, while disappointing, has also prompted a shift in the industry's approach to marketing and distribution. A rebooted John Carter of Mars could leverage these lessons to reach a wider audience and cement its place in sci-fi history. It would honor Burroughs' legacy and introduce his work to a new generation of fans. Ultimately, a successful remake would not only redeem the legacy of the original film, but also lay the groundwork for a vibrant future for the franchise. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one. What are your thoughts on the potential revival of John Carter and the reboot of Gargoyles? Would you be excited to see these beloved franchises brought back to life? Feel free to share your suggestions for future video topics in the comments below. Your feedback is always appreciated. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in our next video.